The school children and I had been working in the building about 10 minutes when a sudden flash of light made me think there was a bomb in the building. The students all ran away and were scattered. I went to the riverbank to see what was happening. After standing there for a while, four or five of the students who had run away saw me and waved their arms, yelling, Teacher, help me. The image of those students will never leave my mind, running over to me with their hair all wild, hollow and dirty faces, helplessly waving their arms at me. That scene later led me to make a painting called Scream. here, where I am standing, was already crowded with a lot of people. They held their hand in front of their chest. Their hair stood on end. Some of the victims were crying and shouting their mothers to help them. So I want to jump into the water. But uh, when I look into the water, countless dead bodies were carried away by the water, some sinking and uh, floating. These paintings are actually not based on what I've seen, but are images of what I imagined Hiroshima Harbor would be, filled with bodies that came from the rivers. How do the bones in the bottom of Hiroshima Harbor feel? I painted while thinking of things like that. Whether they would be sad, or lonely, whether they would be angry at the people who dropped the atomic bomb. I would think of these things while imagining and painting the bones on the bottom of the harbor. I don't know where most of my students disappeared to. But I could imagine their bodies floating down some river and ending up at the bottom of Hiroshima Harbor. 